Batista the Assassin. This headline in the March 15th edition of La Gacita, the Spanish newspaper printed here in Tampa, spelled the terror which reigned in Havana, Cuba on March the 14th when Havana students stormed the palace of President Fulinco Batista. Since that time, resentment against the present Cuban government has grown throughout this country and other lands around the world. Presently, a number of Cuban students who have been forced for their activities to leave their home country and come to this country are trying in every way they can to give some assistance to the fighters of the present Batista government still in Cuba. The leader, Fidel Castro, has many supporters in this country. Today, WTVT News went direct to Ybor City and talked with the students. What is your name, sir? Miguel Roche. Were you uh, ever arrested by Cuban police? Alguna vez la policía cubana te puso en prisión. Sí. Yes. For what reason? ¿Por qué? Eh, por dirigir una zona de La Habana del 26 de julio y distintos actos de sabotaje y de y de desorden público. Uh, he's been accused by the Cuban police of being the zone uh, chief of, uh, of zone four in Havana, uh, leading the revolutionary force, and he's been accused of certain acts of sabotage. How were you treated by the police? ¿Cómo te trataron la policía? Bueno, la, la razón de que me trataron la tengo presente, que es un golpe distinto, muchos golpes, eh, por todo, diseminado por todo el cuerpo, pero la razón de que cuando llegué aquí tuve que ingresar en el hospital San José con muchos dolores de cabeza y de espalda. Uh, he was severely beaten by the Cuban police, kicked, and in fact, when he got here, uh, some weeks later, he had to go into St. Joseph Hospital uh, here in Tampa to, to be treated for those bruises and... And, and, and cuts that he received while in prison. This is 24-year-old Victor Ferrar, a graduate of the University of Havana, who took part in a number of demonstrations in Havana against President Batista. Seven months ago, he was forced to come to this country for fear of being jailed once again. Mr. Ferrar, how many times were you jailed? Oh, about six or seven times, can I remember. For what reason, the demonstrations? The demonstrations against Batista, his government, his killing, all the blood he has been put in, in the streets of Havana, in all Cuba. Did the soldiers ever attack the students? Sure, every time, with guns, machine guns, rifles, everything, gave by the, the United States government to Batista. I appeal to President Eisenhower to send no more arms to the Cuban army, because with that guns, machine guns, or the, all that kind of weapons, they kill the Cubans and try to support the dictatorship of Batista. Were the students uh, ever able to get any weapons to fight the soldiers? Well, the only fight that we can make is with the freedom, with the demonstration, and now with the arms. You mentioned Fidel. Does he have a rather large following in Cuba itself? Sure. Fidel Castro is a true hero, like President Prio said yesterday. He is a man who has given us strong enough to, to fight Batista. He is the representative of the Cuban youth. He was a former student of the Havana University. And now he is the leader, I think, of all the Cubans who fight Batista. All of this is happening not around the world in Europe or Asia, but less than 300 miles away from Tampa. We are actually closer to this than we are to our own capital of Washington. A meeting will be held in Tampa this coming Sunday at 3 o'clock, in which a number of persons who have been directly touched by the present Cuban situation will talk to local Spanish-speaking people.